I am going to show you guys how to make a no glue, no borax slime. On screen are today's shout outs. If you guys also would like a shout out, just subscribe, turn notifications on, and be the first 20 people to comment hashtag notification squad on my video. I love you guys so, so, so much. This is a highly requested video and is super simple, easy, and doesn't involve many ingredients. I highly recommend this recipe. So grab your ingredients and let's start. So basically all you need is just any type of clay and lotion. Like as I said earlier, you do not need that many supplies. So you basically just need any clay. I'm using Model Magic and I decided to take orange. But you can take any clay you want and it can be any color. It can even just be white. It just has to be some clay. That's it, it just needs to be clay. And then you just need some lotion. Again, it could be any brand. You can use any lotion you want and you might be able to find some maybe like around your house or you can buy it at like Amazon or just any store. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You just need to have clean hands and also a safe surface to do this on. So make sure to ask your parents before doing this. So let's start making some slime. So here we have our Model Magic packet. I have some orange clay. Just gonna cut this open. Here's how the orange clay looks. And then just take the clay that you want. Your clay is going to be the slime. So how much clay you have is basically how much you're, the slime you're gonna have. And then take your lotion and just squirt like a few pumps. It also depends on how like rippy your clay is. So if yours is very stiff like mine, you should add as much as lotion that I just added in. But if your clay is kind of stretchy, you should add like about two pumps. And also it's kind of on your preference if you want your slime to be really stretchy and like, you know, has really sizzly, you should add in a lot of lotion. And if you want yours to be a bit stiffer, you don't want it to be so stretchy, then just add in less lotion. I'm still needing my lotion in, but here's how it should kind of look like. It should be a, a tiny bit rippy, but it should get smoother while you're kneading it in. So I'm done kneading my slime in, and here's how yours should look. It should be pretty smooth right now, and it shouldn't really be stiff. And remember, if, you're, if yours is still stiff, then make sure to add more lotion into it. And if your lotion isn't working for some reason, you can try adding in a little bit of water into it. And if you wanna add water, just a teensy bit, and it can just ruin your slime, so don't add much water if you need it. It is very stretchy right now, and it's super smooth and creamy. It's really spreadable and sizzly. It has such a nice soft texture, which I really, really like. Okay, so this part is optional, but you can get any toppings you want. You can get some food coloring, glitter, sprinkles, um, fruit places, any like charms. This is optional, but I think it'll make your slime like really pretty and nice, but it is totally up to you. So once you're done making your slime, now you can start decorating it or dyeing it different colors. So to my slime, since I kind of want it to be a little bit like fiery themed, since you know, orange, I'm going to split it into half and dye one side red and the other half is gonna stay orange. Oh my gosh, that might have been a little bit too much and that literally looks like blood, guys. Whoa, that literally is like so red. So I'm done dyeing the slime. And it's not really red, but it's kind of like a darker orange. It's not really red, but I still kind of like it. It's like a tangerine -y color. I still like it, they're really nice. And by the way, I haven't mentioned, but these slimes are so holdable and very fun to play with. So now we're going to make like a kind of slime smoothie and make like a, like that. And then we're just gonna add some glitter on top to make it nice and pretty. Guys, this looks so pretty. It literally almost looks like a fire rainbow. I don't even know. Okay. So we're gonna make a little swirl. I really like the colors. It's kind of like dark orange and light orange. 
and we're gonna have the mermaid. <gasps> and voila, we have our slime right here. So can you guys believe it? We literally made this slime with almost like two ingredients basically. And look how beautiful this slime looks. Like I'm just amazed how pretty this turned out. And now we're gonna mix this all together. Okay, so now we're all done with our slime. I think this is a such a great recipe and you guys should definitely try this. And remember, adding the food coloring and the glitter stuff was optional, you don't have to do that. It just makes your slime kind of prettier, but that's completely optional. And yeah, your slime is basically all complete. I highly recommend it, this was so easy. If you guys have these ingredients, I would definitely make this slime. But after you're done playing with your slime and making it, the most important part is to put your slime away into a airtight container to make sure that your slime doesn't dry because if you just leave it out on the table, it'll just dry and the next time you wanna come play with your slime, it will be dried and stiff and you do not want that. So make sure to put it into any container and seal it tightly. And you guys, that was the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you wanna see other slime tutorials or just tutorials on anything and I might be doing them. So like, subscribe if you want to, bye. And by the way guys, I have other tutorials, slime tutorials, like if you, if you have glue and you wanna make slime with glue and activator, I have a basic slime tutorial recipe that will be linked in the description box down below. And if you don't know how to make activator, that's also linked in the description box down below. So make sure to go check out those videos if you wanna see them.